Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We've got the Subaru up in the air right now. We've just got the belly pan, splash shield, whatever you want to call it, off. I did an oil change and I spilled a bunch of oil off the filter underneath the belly pan and then it was dripping for one or two days there and boy, it was driving me nuts. I had a couple of drips on the driveway here and I was just like, what's going on? Did I forget something? No, my error, you know what, whatever. Got it cleaned up. So if you do happen to do it and you don't remove the pan, you do have this access panel right here, right? Engine oil filter and the drain. So you just pop out these ones. I'm missing one right there already. Look at that. Oh, and I'm missing one there too. So, but anyway, uh, Harris B asked me about my turbocharger. What kind of turbochargers on this car? And you know what? He said that there's a, a plate, a plaque, or it's embossed on the turbo. And you know what? I could not find it for the life of me. He said it's on the front side of the turbo. So what turbo is on uh, this vehicle? This is a 2004 Subaru Forester Cross Sports. It's the two liter turbo. It's the uh, EJ 205. Uh, been a rough day. Here we go, we'll just get right over to the plate right here. SG5, it's an EJ20, it's a 205. Anyway, I think I may have uh, been able to help you out here, Harris. I'll shoot you a message on this as well and let you know what's going on. This is kind of tough to see. You know what I need is I need a, I need a pointer. Give me something to point with. I'm a screwdriver. Yeah, I'm dressed up like I'm in, in the Arctic or something here. Got my extra light on my head here too, but, um, We'll spin the camera around, we'll point right down, and you can vaguely make something out. I don't know if it's a V, could be, but anyway, check this out. We'll, uh, I'm gonna try to get in here as best as we can. I know it's, it's not the easiest thing, but right there, right, right there, right there, embossed. I don't know if that's a four or a V. An upside down four, or is it a V? It's so tough to tell. Um, I'm gonna put my other light in here as well. I don't know if you guys can make that out. Maybe someone can help us out here. That could be a V. Looks like a V to me. The last thing, but it's just it's just scrubbed away. It's oh, there goes my light. It's scrubbed away. It's worn off a little bit there, but right there. That sure looks like a V to me, even with a light like that. So maybe, uh, Harris, maybe that'll help you out. I can kind of make out the last digit there anyway. Um, on to a couple other things. Had some people ask me about, uh, hey, you did the block heater on the vehicle, which I'm gonna put my doors back on. Which way did you run your block heater cord? Uh, well, you know what? I got the belly pan off. I got the vehicle up in the air. Let me kick my Coke box out of the way. Yes, I've got a Coke box. Have you ever seen one of those? Maybe. Let me get my creeper, my roller, my creeper thingy. Let's get underneath. And we're gonna need light. I'll show you which way. I pulled the car in way too far. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm jammed right up against here, but that's fine. At least I can close the garage door and go inside. And Get something neat or something. Anyway, I'll show you the block heater cord. It's for all the guys with uh, installing a block heater on this thing. This is the way I run my, my cord, my block heater cord. Camera's coming down. Right there. There we go. Dropped it below the exhaust. Tie strapped it here. Ran it underneath the rad. Oh, there goes my light. And right there. Tied it to my license plate as well. So we are good. I need to uh, clean up. Got a little bit of my light. My battery must be a little bit weaker here. That's okay. Oh, nice red light. There we go. Mobile One filters. Everything is nice and clean underneath. Uh, that's it. There we go. So, pull it back up. I hope that helps you out, Harris. Uh, maybe somebody else who's watching this video can uh, answer that question as well plate stamp number on the turbo man you know when i look at it right now it geez it sure looks like a v to me but it could be a i don't know if they if they run the numbers if i read them if they run them left to right and are they 
up and down this way, left to right, or think of it as a turbo is almost upside down. Do they run the numbers right to left, but they're upside down? Because it could be, it could be a four. Man, that is tough to call. I'm gonna try to spin the light around here a little bit more. And... No, just a little, it could be a three in there as well. No. There we go. That's a little, that looks like a, an E and a two. Wow. That's a tough one to call here. Come on guys. Let's talk to our Subaru uh, forum people out there. Come on, somebody's gotta be able to help us out with this. There's gotta be tons of guys who know about this. Let me get a, a different angle on the light on this thing here. Yeah, there's definitely a letter, there's a letter E in there. That could be a, a 4E2, or, oh boy, it's like upside down there. Anyway, hopefully that helps. So if you've got any questions on this, you know, leave your comments on this. Help us out here, guys. Uh, help Harris out, see what he can do. So anyway, car's been great. Uh, five speed, two liter turbo, everything's good. Winter tires, traction, fantastic with these things. Federal Himalayas, wow, look at those. Man, this thing bites good in the winter time on the ice and everything. That's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you got any questions, any comments uh, on this vehicle, on my Toyota, my RAV4, my Acura MDX, any one of those, leave them. Um, you can see the ice on this because we had freezing rain here. I'll draw a little smiley face for you guys. Cheers. How's that? <laughs> I think I need a coffee. Take it easy, people. What do you think? Look at that.